Hello everyone, Hobbyist here. We are back at it again with another video. This time, we're going to be covering the scientist. In the last video, we covered the captain and his strengths and weaknesses. And I just want to go over a general overview of the scientist. The scientist is really, really, really good at using computers, and especially when it comes to the intruder weaknesses, whether you're doing it cooperatively or for your objectives. So let's get into further detail on that. All these corporate objectives that you see here that have the signal and weakness, two weaknesses, and an intruder egg weakness, or if you find any cards or objectives that mention having to send the signal at all, the scientist is going to be the best character in order for you to do that. Because the scientist has the way of using rooms that have computers on them that none of the other characters really have. I mean, you have other characters that use the computers, of course, like the pilot, as well as the mechanic, but you don't use them in the way that the scientist does. The scientist has probably the best computer skills inside a base game nemesis, if we're being totally honest. And I think that it extends even further with the scientist if you ever are using him as an experienced player inside of Nemesis Lockdown, because Nemesis Lockdown introduces the concept of computer actions that are totally separate from just seeing that it's a room with a computer, as there's way more to do with the scientist in Nemesis Lockdown in comparison to the base game. Just as a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. So, let's get a little bit of his kit. You kind of have the basic idea of why you would want to pick him based on the objectives that you have, because again, you can't really control the fact of what player card that you're going to get, which is going to affect the drafting, which means you might not be able to get the character that you want. So if this is, ends up being one of the choices and you have an objective that gets you weaknesses or you need to send the signal, the scientist is the way to go. What you really need to be sure of is the fact that the scientist has the worst starting item in the base game of Nemesis. It really does suck because any unmodified rolls of two are counted as one. He has, I'm just going to say it straight up, the shittiest weapon that you can ever possibly be against. It's a great weapon when larvae are raining down on you, but it's not going to do much against anything else. Even if you're getting those great crit rolls, or those rolls that do multiple damage, this pistol ain't going to do crap. You're just going to clip, 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 and then it's going to take too long, especially if you're in a room with the queen or the breeder. That's the absolute worst situation that you could possibly be in. So... As far as weapons go, I mean, hold on to it just in case, but try to find yourself a better weapon. Really, really do. The captain, inside of our previous video, the scientist has four exclusive cards that are specific only to his kit, and it kind of helps you differentiate between him and the captain. So the first one is probably a really powerful tool to use cooperatively and to benefit yourself, which is risk assessment. If you are in a room with a computer, you can use this at no cost. You could just play the card and use it. And look at the top card from the event deck. Then either return it to either the top or the bottom of the deck. Really, 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 really powerful. Probably one of the strongest cards that I would use very, very frequently. And it's especially true in cases where you're not even facing the base game Nemesis Intruders is especially important in Carnivores or Void Seeders, or if you're facing off against the Chitrids or the Night Stalkers, you're going to want to kind of see for yourself which ones that you're going to want to take most advantage of. But the key thing is that it has to be in a room with a computer. Because the scientist focuses heavily on computers, if the room is malfunctioning, you can't use that computer in order to do any of these action cards. That's going to be really important, so you got to make sure that those rooms are all fixed and ready to go. The next card that we have for the scientist is that we have blocking access. As you can see here, this one says or, as it's pretty big. It's going to cost you no cards to do, which is absolutely great. And it's a card that's like risk, risk assessment to where you can't use this card if you're in combat. But if you are in a room with a computer, you can use this room action without paying its cost. Absol I don't think you guys have any idea how valuable that is. Sometimes you just really don't have the time in order to pay two cards 
in order to use a room action because you might need those two cards to either use for those card actions specifically you might need them to hold on to because you're in a room that's surrounded by noise so you don't want to be surprise attacked like this is a great card and there are a good number of key rooms that are very important inside of Nemesis. And just going over the room one cards as they're always guaranteed to be on the map, that means that you can use the laboratory essentially for one card. That means that you can use the signal room if you have to send the signal. Laboratory definitely to help you get those intruder weaknesses, both from your corporate objective standpoint or if you're trying to help out the group because the aliens are being too hard and it's really difficult to kill them right now. Another great one is that if you're surrounded in a room with aliens, or if the room is on, any rooms are on fire, you can access the fire control system because that room also has a computer in it. So you can use all of that to put out the fires to make sure that intruders run away from the room that you are in. There are so many use utilities that the scientist has because of blocking access. You can also use this as a sabotage move, as you can see in this or option. You can use it in a room with a computer to place a malfunction marker in any one room with a computer. You can essentially sabotage rooms. If you are having an objective, just to kind of think about this out loud, to where you have to destroy the ship, you could then activate the self-destruct with a different card and then go back using blocking access and make sure that you break the generator room to where nobody can stop the self-destruct. That's something to think about because the generator room does in fact have a computer in it. That is the next card that we're going to talk about. It's also another card that is while you're not in combat, so that's going to be really important, and it's going to cost you one extra card in order to use this. But you can use it in a room with a computer. Again, make sure that the room is not malfunctioning in order to be able to access the true potential of these cards. You can use the room action of any working room with a computer without paying its cost. So instead of just using just the room that you're in, you can then, if you have the egg and the laboratory is too far, you can use intranet and scan using the laboratory from the room that you are in. Or you can, if you decided to get any other things then you can set off the self-destruct from several rooms away like internet is absolutely powerful it, to have like I, I, you got to be really careful with the scientist because the scientist again he's not good at combat at all but if he has access to rooms with computers then he can be a real problem both for the aliens, if you're trying to play more cooperatively, or for any of the other players if they're not watching out for whatever objectives that they have. The card that the scientist has is only ever shared by the pilot and the mechanic, and that is computer skills. Much like theirs, it's only for while you're not in combat, and it's going to cost you no extra cards, so you just play the card and do the action. You can either open or close a door in a corridor connected to the room you're in, or, if you are in a room with a computer, use this room action without paying its cost. You have two cards that could essentially do, do that in both blocking access and computer skills. That is absolutely vital, especially in various areas of the ship, to where sometimes you just need to use the room action, especially if you're trying to get those weaknesses, like I said. Send the signal, self-destruct, putting out fires, like, and that's not even covering any of the room two tiles which may or may not be on the ship that have computers which could be very helpful to you so yes make sure all of your rooms are fixed that have computers in order to really maximize with the scientist here and like i said just from a general overview standpoint something that i definitely didn't notice on first glance all of these cards are not in combat so if you're in a room with an alien you are significantly hindered on what it is that you're able to do as a scientist. But now, we're going to transition to those quest items. Every other character inside of Nemesis, whether you're playing the base game, Lockdown, or Aftermath, has two quest items. The first of which is the hollow computer, and the second of which is laboratory equipment. 
When it comes to my personal experiences with playing as a scientist, always, 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 always activate your hollow computer as soon as possible. But th that's, that's not even up for discussion. Like, if there was a requirement, say sometimes you might not even be able to get to your laboratory equipment, even though laboratory equipment is useful too. The hollow computer, especially with what the scientist's kit is designed to do, is probably the most important quest item that you want to activate early in order to be able to fully maximize what the scientist is capable of. After you activate the hollow computer from the generator room, it's going to cost you one action card in order to do so, then this is a heavy item. As you can see here, it's got a hand symbol, meaning that it's going to take up one of your hand slots once you activate it, so that's something to keep in mind. It's also a card to where you can't use it if you are if you are in combat, but you can use the internet and risk assessment actions from any room on the ship, even with a malfunction marker or without a computer. This essentially means that you can take a look at those event cards or access rooms literally from anywhere because you are carrying a computer with you. So like I said, if you can activate your hollow computer first and foremost before anything else when playing as a scientist, regardless of the objectives that you end up having, then you are significantly in a better place. This item works in all aspects of Nemesis. Whether you're playing cooperatively with other people, this is a great item to have. Whether you're playing semi-cooperatively, this is especially a great item to have, as it can essentially allow you to keep messing with the rooms and room sabotage, which might lead to the destruction of the ship or taking out a certain player but it's especially helpful to you if you're trying to get those weaknesses objectives filled out. Laboratory equipment is the second quest item that the scientist has. So you're gonna discard an action card from your hand in order to discard the chemicals item, which is in the technical deck, in order to be able to activate this. So much like the hollow computer, laboratory equipment is non-combat only, meaning you have to not be in a room with an alien to use it, but it's also only a one-use item. If you are in a room with a character corpse, intruder carcass, or egg, discover one corresponding weakness from the intruder board. So this essentially is just a mobile laboratory. This is, I would probably say that this is the second most important thing because weaknesses help you out significantly with taking down intruders just as an across the board in general. I would only prioritize this card above the hollow computer inside of either the solo, maybe the cooperative elements, because when you start the Hymenatorium, the blue character corpse is already there. So if you can try to get the chemicals, you activate this, you go back to the Hymenatorium, you just use this, you've already scanned a corpse, so that way you found a weakness. So it's great for an early game to try to get a hold of this. But I would say that I would prioritize definitely the hollow computer first. And unlike the hollow computer, laboratory equipment is an item that just goes in your inventory slot. So that's just something else to keep in mind. But aside from that, those are the quests like everybody else in Nemesis. Scientist has his search cards, interruption, he has a repairs, rest, demolition. The thing that you'll definitely notice is that like some of the costs might be different for the scientist in comparison to the captain. But honestly, the scientist definitely has his list of pros and cons, which I'll list right up here. The scientist is absolutely great if your corporate objectives or objectives involve getting intruder weaknesses because he is literally equipped to do all of that if you are trying to utilize which especially since that's what his kit is built towards using rooms in computers then you're going to want to make sure that you get all that out early so inside a nemesis lockdown the scientist is probably one of the most perfect characters in order to have inside of that game because not only do you have access to those abilities from your cards inside of just using a computer, but you also have the additional computer actions that Nemesis Lockdown offers. The real cons really just begin with the fact that, like I said, the scientist's starting item absolutely sucks. It's literally the worst weapon in Nemesis. So, 
I would say use it as a last resort, ditch it, and then find something else. But aside from that, that's all that I really think about the scientist. 